What's up, people? Take up here again with the RX-7. I just want to go over um, what the car has. Never really talked about it. Um, you just seen it. I mean, in the description, it does say uh, 83 miles to RX-7, uh, 12A, bridge ported. Um, it does have a Holley 650, which is uh, modified. It was actually a vacuum secondary car which uh, has a bunch of modifications to make it mechanical secondary. And um, I changed the jets and the power valve and stuff that uh, when I rebuilt it and everything. Also, um, racing beat intake, header, uh, twin MSD, 6AL. Um, motor does have the porting on it, which was done by a previous owner when I got the car. Um, I got it. it, it barely ran, but it did run. It was a project of his that uh, he had put together, but uh, it was just way too loud for him. So I ended up training my 81 Corolla for it. And um, I just, I took it from there. Uh, turn signals didn't work. Uh, four ways didn't work. Um, yeah, a lot of lighting systems didn't work. I repaired that. It ended up being the module. Changed the turn signal switch out as well. And I changed the steering wheel. It had an older grant in it as well. And um, just uh, pretty much uh, we've been working on it. I mean, you can see in my older videos uh, how the car was. Uh, had the mechanical oiling system on it, which I blocked that off. I don't know if you can see it in there. It's covered up a little bit. But, yeah, it's right over there. Got rid of the oiler lines, which they tend to leak a lot. And uh, put the old, new old trainer on it, which it wasn't charging the old one. Uh, dual groove pulley on it as well. Uh, new wires, rewired the MSDs. Uh, it was only firing on the trailing plugs. And um, now it's running, it should be. Um, we're doing more tuning videos on the carburetor setup with the Holly. I'm not going to give up on it yet. You know, I mean, it does run good pulls hard you know i mean it runs real good i mean, I mean it's, it's still very streetable uh, i drive it on the street i mean you've seen in the videos um i don't daily the car but um that, i mean i have no need for it to do it but it's more my weekend car and a uh, project here you know i mean I, i've been dealing with rotaries for a long time um yeah my, my first rotary i got it back in uh through the late 90s, I had bought a RX-7, I think it was an 82, um, and I was going to pull the motor out because I had a 79 miles of GLC, and then uh, also I put a 13B rotary in that car, all bridge supported and everything, and also I had another, let me see, a, a rotary, it was a 12A, once again, all bridge ported, uh, Nissan, well, Datsun 1200 fastback. That was a 72 track car. Uh, just, I've been dealing with rotaries over the years. I, I've always loved the sound of them, you know, and the way it looks, you know, it's underdog, you know, you know, no valve cover, and, you know, I, I'm a diesel mechanic by trade, so I just, I love the challenge, you know, and working on something different and you know you know what people don't tend to go with you know it's just I, I really like it like I said the sound and nothing else sounds like it you know goes like it you know so but uh so far I mean it does have active market clutch in it ACT uh, I think it's a stage three um, Training stock, rear stock, I know that. Disc brake, uh, drums, it's not disc brake. The car is a GS. Uh, no power windows. Pretty much the base model. And did have AC from the factory. Um, about it, I mean, I mean. It does run good, pulls good. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more carb tuning on it, like I said, and also as well, um, 
I'm gonna change do the rear end. I want to change the gears in it, put some higher gears. I'll be doing that, but I'll be doing like a more of a junkyard type deal. Uh, I read online I can get the rear end from uh, what is it, uh, Kia Sportage from the front diff. It should be four eighty eights, I think, around there. So I'll be doing that, and also. It depends. I mean, if I can find that, or I can get a rear end out of a, a Miata's 430. Anything better be the third than the 390s. Get the, the I mean quicker into the power band. You know how it goes. But uh, I mean, see the welds looking good. <laughs> and uh, in my exhaust, if anybody was ever wondering, um, for where I live out here, I, I gotta keep noise down. So uh, it does have a racing beat header. It's not the road race one, it's the, the two into one collector. And then from there, uh, it goes into a resonator. That's about, let me see, about two and a half foot long one. And then into a cherry bomb. And uh, from the cherry bomb, it goes into the turbo muffler. I know um, the fiberglass packed and the rotaries to the, due to the heat will burn the fiberglass out over time. That's why you see my other video, the car sounded so quiet when I first did it, and, you know, because <laughs> uh, I've had a couple different mufflers on it, you know, the Quest to try to make it quieter. And um, when I first put this muffler on, uh, you can see here. Uh, yeah, when I first put it on uh, with one of the cherry bombs there, because I had the resonator with the rotary muffler for a while, and then I, I had another muffler on there too. I don't got a video with that one, but that was a two-chambered muffler. It was loud as well. But um, this is the quietest I've had it. I mean, it is getting louder <laughs> as it burns the fiberglass out. But uh, just want to give you guys an update and um, be some more videos. I got the jets for the carburetor. I'm gonna do some more tuning on that. And um, I want to do the tuning on it, get more in depth, you know, and uh, let you know what I did with the secondary one because I didn't finish, you know, I didn't explain what, what I drilled it out to, you know, but I'll get down to the other video, the carburetor, I'll more in depth and explaining on that and the modification that was done to it from vacuum secondary to make it mechanical. But um, please like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for more.